you mentioned it, your transition from acting to comedy to entertainment uh, journalism. Uh, how did you actually make that transition? Like, what were there distinguishing moments from you going to open mics and doing stand up to here's a position that I've worked my way into? I mean, everything. You know, I'd have to say it was probably. I mean, to, to, it was probably just some really low moments. Um, I there were a lot of breaks in between. So there was there were there were times in my life where I had to transition, and I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just knew that these were the things that I knew how to do, and I had to do them as much as I could, and and put my work out there as much as I could, and hope that it it landed or led in in the right direction. I had I really had no you know if you would have asked me at the beginning of all this like where where would I imagine myself or where would I be I would have said I would have been in a writer's room a writer that's that's so yeah I mean it it was I was doing comedy and that eventually led me to uh, writing for television I I had decided after writing comedy for so long, I thought to myself, you know, I had all these ideas and I thought, well, why don't I just write a screenplay, right? I, as an actress, I've read enough of them. I know how to format them. I know I know how, to, how they read, so I might as well try to write one. Um, and I did, and that went, that went, <laughs> you know, your first one is like, get, get that out of the way. <laughs> um, and then I, I had teamed up with a writing partner uh, where there was a pretty big age difference. She was, she was a lot younger than than I am. And she was a different brain. She she was going to law school and we decided we were gonna write something together. And uh, that flew. Um, we got a producer attached to it. Uh, it was a pilot. It, it, it um, you know, we were headed down that direction for a while and it took a lot of writing for free. It was a lot of basically write the material uh, and pitch it and write the material and pitch it. Um, and we had a deal and then my mom got sick and everything kind of uh, changed after that. I, I had to take a pause. I had to go in another direction. She got better and when she did, I, I had to look for work as a writer. And that was what led me down the path of uh, editorial writing. So you're writing for yourself and can you just touch on the process of going from what's written to actually pitching it? Ooh, um, like what are the steps involved in finding someone that you could actually give your ideas to that's actually going to help you be successful? A lot of it, I'm going to say, a, a lot of it is is reaching out to the people that you know and and really being tenacious, and even the people that you don't know. So I had gotten advice from an old acting teacher of mine. That was the first thing I thought was, we have this material, how are we going to get it out to people? And I was lucky enough to have worked with people in classes, you know, mentors who had enough experience in the business who could guide me. And I was really lucky. Um, one of them basically gave me, read through all the stuff and basically gave me tips and just said, you know, it's, it's tenacity. <laughs> Just get, just get out there and, and do it. And my writing partner and I, I mean, we literally cold called. We went through every writer. And this is what my teacher had advised us. We went through every writer that we admired, every show that we admired, every actor from A-list to D-list. And I can, we got, you know who got back to us? This is the craziest thing. We got no responses from, well, I shouldn't say no. Well, some people responded back and they were, they very courteously turned us down. You know who got back to us? Paul Rudd's people. Out of everybody, Paul Rudd said he would take a call with us. And he did, he took a call with my partner. And she asked him, why did you do this? Why did you, he said, because you asked. Because you called and you asked. He said, who would do that? <laughs> so <laughs> that, was, that was how that started. Uh, and he was very nice. He, did, he didn't get attached to the project. He did say, you know, yes, when it's, when, when you have a producer attached and all that, get back to me, you know, but he was nice. He, he, he really, for him to take the time to do that, are you kidding me? So yeah, that was, that was really cool. Um, 